Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be taking this awesome looking brake out and uh, we're gonna put a 124 Alpha Performance Engine kit in it and I'm gonna be trialing the new Comp Cam, the 234A. So I've heard some good feedback from it. it makes a lot of torque nice and early. So I'm really, uh, really excited to see what this cam's gonna do. So um, yeah, this video, we're gonna go through, pull the bike down, build the engine up, uh, it's also got some platinum air ride suspension going in there, which I think is out of all the uh, air ride suspensions out there for the rear of the new soft tails, it just rides the, the best. And yeah, with the, the rebound adjustability, some other shocks offer that, but in my opinion, and riding a few of them and fitting a few of them, I think the platinum air ride just works the best. So yeah, we're gonna pull it down, build the motor up, put the platinum air ride in it, get it on the dyno and show you the results. So stick around and check it out.
that thing is an animal on the road. I've just been out for a ride, had it off the dyno. Oh, that cam is so good. That, that torque, the way the torque comes on nice and early is, oh, it's brilliant. Held back a little bit by the uh, pipes, obviously. I've seen those Vance and Hines big radius hold these big things back at least 15 horsepower. Um, we'll take a look at the uh, run sheet. 110 horsepower, 137 foot pounds. Now, <clears throat> as I just said, the Vance and Hines big radius, they hold it back at least 15 horsepower. I've seen them actually go 18 horsepower on some builds, but uh, that was with a D&D, put a, uh, from Vance and Hines big radius to a D&D fat cat, picked up 18 horsepower. That torque curve is just awesome. Like from two, two and a half grand, we're at 120 foot pounds and then it comes up to 137. And then it's all, all in and done by sort of four, four and a half down here. So it's really strong right in the middle. This is a great street engine. But again, with those Vance and Hines, if we were to swap them out to a, a Bassani Road Rage or a D&D Low Cat or a D&D Fat Cat, I would expect this power curve to come up a lot higher and produce somewhere around 125, maybe 130 horsepower. But I tell you what, that 234A comp cam with that 124, it's stock head, stock intake. And again, some of you out there might be saying, oh, my numbers are a bit low and this and that. I'm 2,200 feet above sea level, so the air is, I've got less air pressure up here. But if you just take this, this exact tune down the road, you'd probably pick up six to eight horsepower as well. I've, I've seen it happen on my low rider. It went 158. In Gladstone, I brought it back here, it went 150. So eight horsepower just there, the same tune, just up in elevation. But I can't wait to give that Zach the bike back and see what he thinks, because I know he's gonna love it, because man, it's so fun to ride on the street. it for this video guys thanks for checking it out they've got a, I've got a few more things coming up soon with a bit more test and tune action on my low rider and a few more builds coming up so make sure you hit the subscribe button share it with your friends turn the bell on you know how to use YouTube click all the things you need to do and we'll see you guys in the next one